time to meet a self-taught superstar, a man cave mechanic, a driveway dynamo, if you will. You know, I'm always impressed by people who could do things that I can't do. As much as I love my cars and motorcycles, I am not an engineer. These two cars were built by a gentleman named Paul Kalinian. Paul, how are you, my friend? Very well, Jay. You're a self-taught engineer. Well, yes. I just really love to putter in my garage. That's what this segment is all about. It's, it's driveway dynamos. It's people who do things at their homes. I was a judge at the Hot Wheels competition, and he entered these two. And these two were my favorite. The Lulu and Lu2 are original cars made entirely from scratch by Paul, who had never built a car before. Lulu is a real car registered for the road with a 325 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder crate engine. A do it yourself sports car valued at about $150,000. About 50% lighter than Lulu is the Lu2, inspired by a dissembled BMW motorcycle. This handsome car is powered with a six-cylinder BMW motorcycle engine, and like its predecessor, it's also valued at about $150,000. And it's your own design, isn't it? Yes, sir. Looked at a picture of Mickey Thompson's Harvey Aluminum Special, which this loosely replicates. Right. I took up my old drafting table, started doing some drawings, and started building it. This guy took seven months. I, I broke it seven times. Well, that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, I thought you were going to say five years, because obviously no. you must have been working pretty nonstop all that time. Well, if you ask my wife, I live in the garage. Right, right. So. Well, yeah, you can talk to my wife, too. And what engine is this? I recognize uh, it. That's a GM crate motor, two liter. It's called an LTG. It's a twin cam uh, turbo four. Generally, it's a front engine and I moved the whole thing to mid-rear engine drive. She wound up being 1,530 pounds, which I thought was a little chubby. So I decided to build another car. This one actually took longer. The engine rotates the wrong direction, motorcycle yeah. engine. So I had six speeds going the wrong way. Right. So I just adapted. Paul is a brilliant machinist, and using his creativity and resourcefulness, he had the clever idea to keep the Lu2 light by using the engine from this 2019 BMW K1600 motorcycle. But unlike a typical car engine that spins clockwise, this motorcycle engine turns counterclockwise. That means its transmission would rotate the car's powertrain in the wrong direction. So Paul attached the drive shaft to the engine and created a cog belt pulley system, which powers the differential that's upside down and backwards. The differential is attached to the inboard brakes and axles, which powers the rear wheels. Let me ask you, when you built this, were you thinking, these are some parts I have, let me make something? Or is it a clean sheet of paper? What's no. the best motorcycle engine? What's it? You need something that's got reverse. Right. So you're not doing the Fred Flintstone right, gotcha. pushing backwards with your right. feet. I, I bought a motorcycle, and this has reverse. What they don't tell you is that it'll back up seven feet, and then you have to re-engage it. You know, my father used to say, if, if you know too much, you won't try things. And this is a matter of really not knowing what I was doing, and things broke. I fixed things the next day. Have any idea how much you have invested in this? I probably have 1,500 hours and maybe $30,000, $35,000 worth of parts. But to have somebody build this for you, from scratch oh. would be $150,000 at least. With something like this, you had to use your imagination and what funds you have. This is full of mistakes and it's all one thing at a time. Yeah. Well, cool. Can we take these for a ride? Is that possible? I was hoping you'd ask. patents in a wide variety of fields he'd be working down in the basement right. those right. things which didn't work he would call Lulu kind of an old-fashioned name and this is kind of an old-fashioned thing but good engineering is never old-fashioned the nice thing about mechanical parts they teach you immediately yeah if you did it right or wrong I think you did a great job well thank you Hi, I'm Jay Leno, and if you like these videos, uh, watch Jay Leno's Garage, all new episodes on CNBC Wednesday nights at 10. And uh, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. Imagine that, free videos. The age we live in.